Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Well, today it's RC Cola. I finally found one. All I can find around here is just those in the in the um, in the cans. And there's always like 10 or 20 it seems like. But this is the real RC Cola and a moon pie. But I'm not going to have it all. I'll just tell you that right now. This is like a special little package here, you see. And I think it was about, it's about $4. And it came in this neat little thing. Isn't that a nice little bag there? I just love that. So it's like a kind of a, a gift store thing. But anyway, so let's get down to the real thing here. I'm not going to have all of this... I'm not going to have this moon pie, and I'm only going to have half of this RC cola. But I want you to see it all. It's such a the proverbial RC cola and the moon pie combination. Is this a southern thing right there? The little boy is sitting there eating his moon pie. Is he drinking a RC cola? And I presented the moon pies on my channel a couple of times before. Yeah, he's got him an RC cola there, I think. I bought this new magnifying glass. I finally found one. It's not as big as I thought it would be. Yeah. Yeah, you can check it out. Here's the moon pie, and there's a, an RC cola. That could have been me like 50 years ago. Because it was probably 50, 55 years ago the last time I had a, an RC cola. Because when we were working in the fields, it was a wonderful thing in the afternoon when we were on the tobacco harvester and coming to the end of the row, cropping, you know, and the croppers at the bottom, they could hardly, they couldn't see the end of the row. But the stringers and the driver, and in later years I was a driver also, driving the harvester, it's two stories tall. So I'd have been like maybe 14, 15, 16, and the driver would... I mean, we could see Dad coming up there, or sometimes it was Mom in the old Chrysler drive up. You could see the, you could see the uh, dust coming up behind the car on the, on the dirt road, and it was just such a wonderful sight in, in in the in the miserable, the miserable heat, and the tobacco worms that squish in your fingers and just this nastiness, and you sweat and everything and. In the morning it's cold, in the afternoon it's hot. So mom or dad would bring us these uh, little snacks, like uh, in the middle of the morning and in the middle of the afternoon. And lunch was always a, a nice big lunch that, that mom would fix. Well, she had some help too. This other older lady would help her with it. So uh, that was the greatest thing. She was a, an, an older black lady. Her name was May. May. Can't think of her last name. That was so long ago. Golly. Okay, I'm reminiscing here. See the crown right there? R.C. Cola. Isn't that great? The problem is, I'm going to talk about this because I'm going to look forward to this in just a minute. The... Okay, i got to put my glasses on. Let's take this bad boy out of here, and it is a bad boy. And I presented the presented the moon pile on my channel before, at least a couple of times during the, my pre-diabetic years, which started about a year ago with this illness. And I like the chocolate moon pie the best. I'm not going to talk too much about it because I presented this before. You can just uh, uh, search for moon pie in the little uh, search thing, the hourglass there on my channel, if you want to see those videos. So this has, uh, forget all the other, for all the other uh, nutrients in here. It's got 40 sugars, 20 sugars, and it says it includes 20 added. So that's like 40. 
don't know. I need to figure out how to read these things. In fact, I asked somebody recently. It's a woman who's like kind of a dietitian, and she told me something. I called a company that makes raisins. I think it was raisins because it shows a lot of sugar in it, but uh, there's no added sugar, and it says it has 0% for your daily value. I just don't think that's right. So don't, you know, don't, expect, don't expect to see me have this moon pie, because that's like a, a whole bunch of sugar. And then you add this to it also. I'm talk about the RC Cola just a little bit more. There's a close-up of it. Shall we do a uh, the thumbnail thing? Let's let's do that. Love it. I don't think I would have both of these for a million views, much less three or three or four thousand, which is what I'll probably get. So this is a twelve ounce. I tried to to find uh, what a what a, a 12 ounce well this is 12 ounces I don't know if it's 12 ounces exactly can't remember well it has four dollars on here look at that four dollars I thought it was four dollars for the whole thing so now I'm not too sure so this is 12 ounces 160 calories I don't care about calories. Carbohydrates, a bunch of that. Let's see, 40 grams of total carbs per serving. Okay, sugar. This is the big thing here. There are 10.5 teaspoons of added sugars in this in that single can. I was talking about a can, and this is a, the same about the same as a bottle. So, according to the American Heart Association, what do they know? Uh, women should have uh, no more than 25 grams of sugar a day. Men should have no, no more than 37 grams of sugar a day. So this RC Cola can is like a sugar-loaded mini party. In addition to the sugar, it contains phosphoric acid. But a lot of carbonated drinks contain this. And the studies that link phosphoric acid with lower bone density. Well, I'm being treated for lower bone density right now. I'm taking something called Timless, and I have to stick this needle in my stomach every single day to deliver this uh, this medication. And that goes along with my osteonecrosis of the jaw problem. I'm not going to talk about that more. So this is um, not a, a fun way to to go through life. Plus, I have to stick my fingers for to get my diabetes tested, like anywhere from once or twice a day. This is all my diabetes medication here. So, forgive me if I don't have this entire drink. I'm just not going to have it. And I hope people won't be disappointed, but if they are, that's too bad. So here we go. My first RC Cola in over 50 years, over half of a century. Some people think this is an ASMR channel, and I guess in a way it is, but it's unintentional. At the beginning it was more intentional. Well, I didn't get much of a fizz out of that. I guess maybe because it was in the refrigerator. First RC Cola in over 50 years. Oh, somebody shoot me, this is so good. I mean, this is wonderful. But somewhere along the way, like 
half a century ago or so, I started drinking Coca-Cola instead of RC Cola. Coca-Cola doesn't have nearly as much sugar in it for the same size, but I can't, I can't believe that I was drinking this for all those years with all that sugar. But we didn't really think about it. Nobody knew much about it. And if we did know, we were young and invincible. By the way, most of you out there are also going to be diabetics. So, look at Grandpa Trip here and, and let that be a warning to you. It caused all kind of problems. Good gosh, I want to drink the whole thing. But I'm not going to. Okay. Did I already mention? No, I didn't. This has... 43 total sugar includes 43 added sugar, which is 85% of your daily value. I don't care about the other stuff that's in it. And I'm not picking on RC Cola, by the way. Not necessarily. You see, because all of the soft drinks have a lot of sugar in them. All of those that I know. But before I forget, Tell me if you've tried the, the, RC, the RC Cola before and how long you've been drinking it. Did you substitute Coke for it eventually? I don't remember exactly why I switched from RC Cola, but that was a long time ago. And I think the only reason I like the RC Cola better is maybe because it contained more sugar than the same size Coca-Cola. At least that's by my calculation, looking at a at a 12 ounce can, 10 ounce can of Coke, something like that. Now today, around five o'clock, that's when I test my, my diabetes. I get the machine out there and and stick my finger and test it. I would guess I'd have maybe like at least 150. Uh, my glucose level would be 150, whatever those things are. Can't think of the name of it right now. I mean, you can take it, taste, make anything taste good by putting a bunch of sugar in it. So, you know, sweet tea is the same thing, except with sweet tea, you don't know how much sugar you're going to get in it. It's wherever you go, and sometimes they'll just pour it in. But I quit drinking sweet tea years ago, then I started drinking like half and half tea. This is back when I was still working, like uh, maybe, this is before 2015, when I retired. And then, maybe a few years, just a few years before I retired, I started drinking unsweet tea. Wow. Okay, just another couple, sip, couple of sips here. And by the way, my wife and I had a big argument a while ago. And of course she's right, or she's always right, right? And I'm always wrong. we That's the supposition at the beginning of any discussion. So I can't win. Let me, tell me in the comments if I, you and your, and your partner and disagree on stuff and how you resolve it. It's for my own good. I'm going to courageously pour this out. That's going to be it. Again, I'm not picking on RC Cola. It's all soft drinks, okay? Put that genie back in the bottle. Can you do that? It'll have the moon pie on my own time. I'm still going to have it. And I'm going to have the whole thing. And nobody's going to stop me. Not you, not her. 
nobody. But maybe I'll have like half of it at one meal and half of, half the next day. It's probably got about half the sugar of this uh, RC Cola or Coca-Cola. Now maybe half, half as much as the RC Cola and maybe about as much as a as a regular Coke. And when you when you have too much sugar, you really just increase you increase the chance of um, of illnesses. Certainly, we won't won't go into all that. It's expensive and it's a cost to society. There's an ASMR sound for you. Hope it's not too loud. Hmm. Here's a great thought I had. So you can keep drinking all the, the sugary drinks and all the sugary foods, all the junk you see in the stores. Or you can, I can welcome you to my life, my new life. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to enjoy this last little sip after I go off camera. Be healthy and Peace out.